non-sagging service manager when we install a software the software would register as a service some softwares wouldn't register as a service but some softwares would register as a service some softwares will uh, ask for uh, whether to register the particular software as a service or not you can check it uh, yes or no if you install a software it will register as a service you can find the entry for that particular software in the services tab otherwise you can go to run and services.msc and it will open the services window here you can find the list of services for example i installed mongodb and you can see mongodb is installed as a service here it has the startup type as manual i changed the startup type as manual we can change it to automatic if we go to the properties and change it i have to log in as administrator in order to change the startup type here you can go right click properties and change it to automatic if you select automatic during system startup this service will get uh triggered the service will start running let's say that we have a package and we want to run the package on startup how to do that to do that we can make use of the nssm here you can read the description this is the url click download and you can choose this build save it's downloaded i can copy it and place it in some folder i'll place it here extract it and you can see i'm in 64 bit system so i will open 64 bit now you can open command prompt open command prompt as administrator here you can see this exe file you can run it and you can see the different parameters available here what are we trying to do now is if i want to register anything as a service and want it to run on startup i can do it with this package i am showing the steps to do that okay first we need to create a service you can create it uh, you can find the steps here to show service installation guy we need to use this command we'll make use of guy to create this service okay it's asking for uh, nssm install and service name actually right now i have installed a new version of mongodb if you check here you can see mongodb 3.4 right now i have 3.6 and it's not installed as a service we'll see how to install mongodb 3.6 as a service right now what i'm doing is uh, i'm doing a project with mongodb 3.6 what i will do is i will go to this uh, path and open command prompt and i will run this command now my mongodb has started then i will connect using robo mongo now my mongodb is connected so i want to avoid this repeated task i would like to start this mongodb server during st system startup itself so that i i don't want to do this manual work so how would i do it how would i add mongodb uh, how would i add this command as the service that's what we are going to see now if i close this
and try to connect to MongoDB, I will not be able to connect to MongoDB. So I am using MongoDB as an example. You can try it with any services. Okay. Now the command to use is nssm install service name. This is the service name which we are uh, trying to create. So we don't have mongodb.3.6 here. So let's see whether we are able to create a service here. Now we have this window. You can also follow the steps given in this website. But uh, what I'm saying in this video will be enough for you to create a service. So now you can see the service name here, the name which we gave here. And there are many tabs we'll see one by one. Here it's asking for application path. What will I give in case of uh, MongoDB, right? So application path is the this path. Okay, path mongod slash mongo. We have to give this command and startup directory is up to bin and arguments is I'll pass this argument. You can pass any argument. So this is the uh, details you have to fill in application tab and you have given service name as mongodb.3.6 you have so in this name you will find a service here in this services.msc window what i mean as services.msc is if you go to run and type services.msc you will get this window here and you can go to details and uh, by default the name you enter here will be displayed here if you want you can override it here and whatever you are giving in description will be coming in this description tab I will type here be 3.6 and we can select the startup type this is the same thing that's available here if we go to properties, you can see the startup type. We only need to fill these details, other things are not mandatory. But we can take a look. Uh, these things are not needed right now. And you, you can see there are various options available here. You can uh, create a log file for this particular process also. You can also set the required environment variable on startup. You can put those details here. Once all the details are filled, we can click install service. In our case, we have only added the application details. We haven't added the other details. Uh, you can take a look at this documentation in order to fill other details. There are like log read details and everything. I'll click install service you are getting mongodb 3.6 installed successfully ok now if you refresh here you can see mongodb 3.6 and it's automatic status is not running yet if you restart our machine as uh, this service will run automatically you can start for now notice that I am not starting anything manually now if I go to this GUI tool for connecting to MongoDB, it's connecting. So this is how you have to install a service using this tool, NSSM. This is a very simple tool, and if you if you want to remove this service, we can find those details in this uh, web page, or we can uh, use make use of this help to remove a service. We can use this command. 
nsm remove and service name service name is the one that's available here you can see the description available here this is the service name mongodb.3.6 it's asking for remove a service removed successfully I'll stop this service. Okay, you can see the entry has been removed. This is how you can uh, add a service and remove a service using NSSM.